Okay, continuing on, um, we're going to talk about links. Um, so hard links and symbolic links. But before we can talk about hard links, we have to talk about file systems and file systems on Unix. And they have to be Unix um, style file systems, which can be, as I say, ext2, ext3, lots of different um, file systems. Uh, riser FS, but it cannot, uh, but this does not apply to uh, NTFS or um, um, a Windows or a DOS style file. Um, what we have, or at least some of this does not apply to that, because uh, you can't make links on those. Um, what we have on a Unix file, uh, Unix style file system is every file system has something called a super block. The super block stores, um, is basically a file. It stores information about um, the file system in general, such as the number of inodes you have, um, which relates to the number of files you're allowed to have, um, information about data blocks, how long a data block is, um, um, various information about the entire file system itself. As well, and the data block is very important because, it, uh, the super block, because if the super block would get screwed up, if you'd get a bit of file corruption due to powering down the machine uh, unexpectedly or, or something, and the data block got fouled up, that's that's the end of your file system. That's it. You've got to have a good super block or you're in big trouble. Um, the result is, is the book doesn't talk about this, but, but the truth is um, usually there's more than one super block kept. There is a super block and then there is a copy or a couple copies of the super block so that if the super block does get um, corrupted in some manner, there's a good chance you may be able to use an alternative super block to restore your system. Um, and um, that's something you never go into until it happens to you. And then you're sure glad that alternative super block is there. OK. The other thing that you have on a um, Unix style file system is something called an inode table. The inode table is, once again, kind of a file, um, a special style a type file that's on your hard drive that has a, um, it, it's just a kind of like a spreadsheet, a table. And it has a lot of um, um, lines in it. And each line has, well, virtual lines. Each line has information about a file. It has the inode number, which is the starting block of the um, uh, starting block of data of the file. It has um, oh, information about the file location, about the, um, which is probably stored as an inode of the directory it's in or something like that. It had the start date, um, start time, date start, the date of modification, time of modification, uh, maybe creation. It has all sorts of permission information for, it says, who is the owner of the file by probably giving the owner's UID number. What group has the is related to the file by probably giving a GID number. And then a couple, by, or, um, four bytes of information about the access rights to the file. Um, maybe I think it has the length of the file. Actually, I know it does have the length of the file. It does not have the name of the file, though. That's a little bit, seems a little bit strange to me, but it does not keep that. That's because this is a table, and everything kept in this table is fixed length. And since a name can be anything between um, 1 and 255 characters or something like that, um, that's not a fixed length quantity. Um, the inode table is a very much a fixed length thing. The number of inodes is fixed length. So I've 
for example, seen situations, they're rare, but I've seen situations where you run out of inodes, um, but there's lots and lots of uh, space on the disk because you have lots and lots of short um, files, so you ran, ran through your inodes too fast and you can't put any more on the disk even though it's got a lot of empty space. Um, there's actually ways to, when you make your file system with the um, MKFS command, you can actually um, tell it to make more than the uh, extra I, I You can specify how many inodes it's supposed to make. The default is almost always really good, has been my experience, but you can override those defaults. OK. Um, and then the um, name of the file, I think, is actually kept as data in the in the directory in which the file resides. So, um, um, and then the data blocks, the inodes, the data blocks are basically there's an inode number that is the address of the first data block, and then the end of the data block there's a link to the next data block and the next data block, and you kind of get a big chain until you get to the end of your file. Uh, now, the cool thing about this is that means that it's possible to have two different inodes that point to the same data block. Um, and that is what a hard link is. A hard link. Let's go over into this area here. Let's clear our screen. Let's create an um, area which we'll call play area. We'll go, whoop. Oh, play area already exists. That's because I've already done this. OK. Pretend we've created that. We've got an area down here. Um, and let me, um, to build a hard link, um, well, let me copy a file. Let me get a data file here. Or let's make one up. We'll call this data file. Dot text. This is text. Text. OK. There we are. Now, to make a link, all you do is ln space data file to link or, or whatever name I want, which I'm going to call this link to data file. OK, now if I look, do an ls command, I get a, uh, the, here's my ls. This number in this column here is always a 1 for every file. Um, in a directory, what it is, is it should be the number of files in my directory. So let's go up here. And where's play area? Play area is right here. And it says there are two. Not sure why it says two. But basically, it's related to the number of files in my directory. Oh, there's two, um, basically, because I've got a lot of, because I've got links in here, I think. Anyway, down here, and notice up above here, like ss, uh, ttt.sh squiggle, is uh, there's a one. Basically, where you have uh, files, no matter how long they are, there are ones. But if I have data, uh, files that are actually hard links, I get um, two. Or if I do another link here, uh, ln um, data file um, link to link to link to. then it becomes three. Now, if I should edit this guy here, and let's put in, let's add a line, 
one more line. Let's cat this file. OK, now let's cat this file here. OK, I have changed both files, so to say, because they link to the same data. It's the same data. If I change, if I, it doesn't matter what file name I use, if I do a change, it changes it every place. Sometimes this is very handy. And um, I don't really use hard links very much. I don't think many people use hard links very much. But uh, they're used a lot in the internals of the system. If you go in and look at a lot of your commands, simple commands like, um, oh, ls and cd. And I, I, sometimes you'll find a lot of those are actually links, and they've got about 14 common names. Um, uh, there's a system called BusyBox that compresses a lot of key commands down into one little package. And um, um, it does that by using links. Um, so you should know what these links are. Um, one interesting thing is since they are done by fiddling with the inode table, you cannot link to a file that is on another file system. You have to stay within your file system. Also, I don't. I, I guess you can't link to a directory. Um, you, you can only link files to files, and they've got to be on the same file system. Um, as kind of an example here, I think I've got a file system over here. So what would happen if I would try to do a link to that guy? This is a link uh, where I'm trying to do a link. I'm going to make a, um, a link called RRR, and it's going way over to this file system that's down there. OK, let me try it. We have an error. Invalid cross device link. OK, says I can't do that. And I shouldn't be able to do that. Likewise, I can't make a link on a NTFS file system or an MS-DOS file system because, um, because they don't support inode tables and things of that type. So um, now there's a second type of link called a symbolic link. A symbolic link, or sometimes called a soft link as well. But uh, uh, let me make a new file, which we're going to call um, um, new file. Um, this has data. Or maybe I should say this is the data. OK, so I've got a file there. And it's a symbolic, and it is a, a data file. Now, to do a symbolic link, I just do the link command with the minus s flag, spelled correctly, minus s flag. And I do a new file to um, real new file. Now let's do an ls minus L command. And what I see here is something like this, which is kind of interesting. It's a pointer too. So real new link, um, or real new file is just simply a pointer to the other file. And I can do a lot of things with it, but it actually is, they don't really share the data. They, the, the, the new one, points to the old one. Um, um, I guess we're out of time here. I'll be right back.